Hi everyone, on behalf of Professor Marine Sucupira Maciel from the Federal Rural University of Pernambuco, Brazil, it's a pleasure to present the out research paper Simultaneous Determination of Gold Milk Adulteration with Cow Milk and Their Fat and Protein Contents Using NIR Spectroscopy and PLS Algorithms. World gold milk production surpassed 18 million tons per year in 2017, an increase of approximately 20% in a decade. This is due in part to the growing consumer interest in this product and its derivatives motivated by the unique characteristics of gold milk when compared to cow milk such as lower logenicity, high digestibility and functional properties. From the economic point of view, gold milk is more expensive than cow milk and consequently its derivatives have a higher added value. Thus, driven by this economic representativeness, adulteration of this food type is a reality. The main adulterant found in gold milk and its derivatives is cow milk, due to its lower cost and greater abundance. Considering the similarity of these matrices and consequently the difficulty of identifying them in mixtures, chromatographic methods, immunological tests, electrophoretic techniques and DNA identification are currently used to determine adulteration. Non-destructive methodologies like near-infrared spectroscopy have represented an important, interesting and promising alternative for the detection of adulteration with cheaper substituents in different types of foods. The increase in the popularity of this technique can be attributed to its main characteristics non destructive, absence of sample pretreatment, rapidity, and accuracy. This study focuses on the identification and quantification of goat milk adulteration by adding cow milk, besides the determination of their fat and protein contents, employing NIR spectroscopy and PLS algorithms. In order to construct a representative model containing different variability sources of the raw materials, seven loads with 18 samples of goat milk and seven loads with 18 samples of bovine milk were acquired between November 2017 to June 2018 from different farmers located in the micro regions Agreste and Sertão of the Paraíba and Pernambuco states Brazil. Gold milk was randomly adulterated by adding cow milk at levels of 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50 and 75 grams per 100 grams, totalizing 112 mixtures. A total of 20 grams for each mixture was prepared in authentic duplicates. The fat content of the samples was determined using the Gerber method, according to the recommended by AOAC official methods. Protein content was estimated by measuring the nitrogen content of the samples using the micro kj dye method and multiplying by the conversion factor according to the AOAC official methods. NIR spectra were acquired in triplicate in the range from 4,000 to 10,000 centimeters per one using FT NIR spectrophotometer model Analect Diamond 20 coupled with the diffuse reflectance accessory from applied instrument technologies. Reflectance spectra were recorded using the integrated software at 8 cm per 1 spectral resolution and by integrating 32 scans. Chemometric procedure for classification aims considering both the economic losses and the potential health risk to allergic consumers regardless of the amount of cow milk ingested Principal component analysis and partial least squares discriminant analysis were tested to differentiate adulterated samples from the pure ones, such as non-adulterated goat and cow milk. 
for quantification full spectrum PLS, IPLS and ISPA PLS have been employed and then compared in order to eliminate noise and systematic variations on the baseline NIR spectra were initially pre-processed with 13-point moving mean and then with different pre-processing methods before the construction of PLS, IPLS and ISPA PLS models. As can be seen, a prominent and broad band around 6,900 cm per 1 has been attributed to water. The band at 5,000 cm per 1 has been associated with protein as a mid besides absorption bands at about 6,250 cm per 1. Furthermore, other bands corresponding to fat content appeared at 8,350 cm per 1, 5,800 and 5,700 cm per 1, and 5,300 and 5,260 cm per 1. Additionally, the band related with water content seems very similar in all samples, while gold milk in blue presents less variation in the regions attributed to fat and protein content when compared with cow milk in red. Although this, the spectral profile of all samples was very similar, especially when goat and cow milk are mixed in green. In fact, the chemical composition of both milk matrices is close, in which the differences are mainly due to the intrinsic variability of the collected samples. Since cow milk can represent economic losses and health risks to allergic consumers, it would be extremely helpful to develop a simple and rapid tool that can identify goat milk adulteration with cow milk regardless of its content. Thus, a non-target analysis employing the NIR spectra as a fingerprint of the samples was performed in order to differentiate non-adulterated goat and cow milk samples as well as adulterated goat milk samples. Thus, an exploratory analysis was initially performed by PCA for screening the natural variability of the samples, whose scores plot is presented in figure 2a. The five first PCs account for more than 99% of the explained variance PC1 and PC2 being responsible for 76.96 and 17.65% of the data variance, respectively. However, only PC1 exhibits a trend of separation between both non-adulterated goat in blue and cow in red milk samples, while the adulterated samples in green appear mainly overlapped on goat milk samples. To solve this problem, PLSDA was applied to the NIR spectral data as a supervised pattern recognition technique and proved to be quite efficient to correctly classify all studied samples into three well-defined classes, as can be clearly seen in Figure 2b. As expected, goat milk samples are less dispersed than cow milk samples because of their characteristics. Therefore, PLSDA achieved 100% of accuracy, sensibility, and specificity in the simultaneous identification of non adulterated goat milk, non adulterated cow milk, and also goat milk adulterated with cow milk. These findings indicate that all chemical information distributed along the whole spectrum allows the recognition of additions as low as 1.0154 grams per 100 grams of cow milk added to goat milk when applying PLSDA. As fat and protein content are important milk components, they can provoke large overall variance along the whole spectrum, especially fat because the fat globules and casein cells in suspension cause highlight a scattering effect. To investigate this, a biplot of fat and protein contents 
of all non-adulterated goat and cow milk and also goat milk adulterated with cow milk are presented in figure 2c. To confirm that only the information of the fat and protein contents alone are insufficient to identify the adulteration, a biplot using the fat and protein contents shown in figure 2d confirms the same behavior of separation indicated in the PCA scores plot of figure 2a. Non-adulterated goat milk samples in blue are completely separated from the non-adulterated cow milk samples in red. However, the mixtures in green are highly overlapped with the non-adulterated goat milk samples. This corroborates the need of using the entire spectral information to discriminate the samples instead of using the fat and protein contents individually. The reference values used for the determination of cow milk content used to adulterated goat milk ranged from 1.0154 to 100 grams per 100 grams, which were then employed for the construction and prediction steps of the PLS, IPLS, and ISPA PLS models employing different preprocessed NIR spectra. The results obtained for the quantification of the adulteration levels are presented in Table 2. As can be seen, the best performance was obtained by using 20 ISPA PLS modeling for the NIR spectra preprocessed with 13-point moving mean and baseline offset, reaching our CV of 0 0.9996 and our MSE CV of 0.8016 grams per 100 grams in the calibration set in our PRED of 0.9955 RMSEP of 3.6597 grams per 100 grams, REP of 11.24% and RPD PRED of 10.00 in the prediction set, employing 14 latent variables and selecting 18 intervals as indicated in figure 3A. To illustrate the good fit of the 20 ISPA PLS 13 MMBO model, a predicted versus reference plot for both calibration and prediction samples is shown in figure 3B. Additionally, an AGCR test was then applied and demonstrated that the confidence ellipse of the prediction model includes the theoretical ideal point presenting therefore no significant bias as can be seen in figure 3C. Following preprocessed NIR spectra of the studied samples were then employed for the construction of PLS, IPLS, and ISPA PLS models as presented in table 3 and 4. We can see in table 3 results of the determinations of fat content in cow milk, goat milk, and its mixtures using different preprocessed NIR spectra and PLS algorithms. And in Table 4, results of the determinations of protein content in cow milk, goat milk, and its mixtures using different preprocessed NIR spectra and PLS algorithms. The best performance for fat content determination was obtained by using 20 ISPA PLS for the NIR spectra preprocessed with 13-point moving mean and linear baseline correction. These selected intervals are directly related to water protein and fat contents, which are correlated due to its centesimal composition. For protein content, the best performance was achieved by using PLS for the NIR spectra preprocessed with 13 point moving mean baseline offset and linear baseline correction. To demonstrate the good fit of the 20 ISPA PLS 13 mm LBC model for fat determination and the PLS 13 mm BO LBC 
model for protein content predicted versus reference plots are shown in figure 5a and b respectively AJCR test was then applied and demonstrated that the ellipses of the prediction models include the theoretical ideal point for the fat figures 5c and protein figure 5d determinations respectively and therefore they have no biased results in this work we demonstrate the feasibility of nir spectroscopy in the identification and quantification of adulteration of gold milk by the addition of cow milk despite the high complexity in determining one dairy matrix into another Preprocessed NIR spectra coupled with interval selection by ISPA PLS provided the best results for the determination of both adulteration and fat contents, while PLS gave better results for the protein quantification. The proposed methodology proved to be a useful, fast, and non destructive tool for screening the quality of gold milk in terms of its adulteration with cow milk in addition to its fat and protein contents. Thank you.